Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. As you know in my last video I set about putting heat sinks on the top of the FX4CR, bonding them to the inner portion of it by running a bead of heat sink compound between the top plate of the FX4CR and the aluminum frame that holds the circuitry, particularly the final transistors that are closer to the top of the frame. There's two sets of heat sinks here and you can see by the uh, double temperature reading here now the FX4CR has just been idling for about five or ten minutes and already we're pulling you know a decent amount of heat off of the top of this beast and I haven't even started transmitting yet the bottom number is the ambient air from the one sensor the other one is as a dab of heat sink compound just t just uh, connecting it there for a better heat transfer I'm going to just do a couple of pointing and clicking here and the uh, FT8 software that is out of the frame and enable TX and see what happens when this puppy starts transmitting to see if we're going to be seeing any significant increase. Now this is the radio is currently set for 9 watts output. There we go we're transmitting now. Uh, a little bit eight, a little bit less than that, 8.8. .8. Good SWR. It's going into my uh, six-band vertical. What happened here? Oh, we just changed to centigrade here. When it transmits, oh, that's interesting. The RF wax out the uh, the uh, temperature meter. That being said, it's toggling it back and forth between centigrade and uh, between centigrade and Fahrenheit. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see if it happens again. There it goes again. Yes, the RF is whacking out the cheap Chinese thermometer. Okay, that's to be expected. That being said, we'll wait till it cycles back down. Alright, we've gone from like 85 degrees to 93 degrees in just a couple of transmissions of uh, CQ on FT8. So, it looks like this is proof of concept. Putting a little bit of heat transfer between the top plate I'm sorry, putting a little bit of heat transfer compound between the top plate and the frame and then putting some heat sinks on top of the frame gives you a little bit more latitude in terms of what you can do in, in running this particular radio. I still would not recommend running it flat out on digital modes uh, in terms of trying to do the same thing you, you would do like say with a Zygu G90 and its huge heat sink along the bottom of the radio. It is, however, a good radio to keep in spare. You know, and if G90 takes a dump, you can pull this out. And if you're on a wind link or some other form of deployment, this radio would be a decent plan B. So that being said, thank you for your time. Like I said, you can see the ambient temperature down here. And the normal temperature has been raised just for a few transmissions of CQs. It picked it up another 10 degrees. So it gives you a little bit of... Uh, gives you a little bit of a margin of error and again it's off the uh, off the screen but uh, somebody answered so it's a good sign as well thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video and visiting my channel have yourself a great day and uh, as we usually say be well stay safe and a little bit of heat sinking makes this happy little FX4CR a little happier still thank you